Hello, hello, and welcome to a new video. Today, I am starting in my Bokopathon vlog. This is the 48th hour Bokopathon round. Bokopathon, it's a word. But starting in nine minutes, and it is the all live round that the Back Up and Back Under Books obviously is creating and hosting, etc. But when you're watching this, this is over, so I don't know why I'm saying you all this, but you get the point. And there is eight prompts. There's two prompts being dropped every 12 hours. I'm gonna try to do eight books like I did last year. I'm very excited. I am gonna sleep and I'm probably not gonna follow all the sprints because sometimes I just like to keep on reading and I don't wanna take breaks, etc. But I'm gonna try and have the sprints up and stuff because it is cozy and like to chill out, etc. I'm also gonna try to edit and post the video as well as watch MSI for both the two days that this is running. So it will be great. I'm not gonna say off like really long now but I do want to start my book so that will be fun like not finish it now either I like to wake up earlier to read more than like stay up late <laughs> I think I think that's better for me but yeah I'm very excited to see the eight books I will read because you know I don't know the prompts and which is why this really sound like really speaks to me because I like to not know I like to like be challenged and you know it's also still Asian readathon so of course I'm gonna make all the books I read Asian unless I really and honestly cannot find anything for the prompt but I might just like bend it to my will. But yeah, I have lots of stacks here right now that I will show you a bit later because I'm too lazy to move the camera for options. So yeah, last year I did, wow, well, like I did finish in good time, etc. But I had to go to work last year and then I also like feel like I could have read better. But now I feel like I'm even more solid reader than I was done. So I think it will be good. But yeah, the first two prompts was one, read a short book, which is under 300 pages. For that I'm reading I've Had Your Face by Francis Cha. This one is 268 pages, unless that was with acknowledgement. Okay, I don't count the acknowledgements. And I just bought it around Koreathon, which was earlier this year, and I just heard amazing things about it. So I'm very, very excited to read it, and hopefully I will love it. But it is, I think, literary fiction, but I've been enjoying a lot of like the reflection lately, especially like by Asian authors. So that's really enjoyable. And then other prompt was to read something to do with the gods. And for that, I'm reading the final book in our Shaw series. And I'm just very, very excited for it. And you know, this is a middle grade, so it will go really fast. It's not like it's a long book either, but like generally I would just read it super, super, super fast. It's under 400 pages. And I'm just so, so excited to read it. And obviously this fits because it's based on mythology and they literally do interact with gods there as well. And there also are demigods or like children of gods as well. So like it fits really, really well. Yeah, those will be my first two reads. I don't know if I will actually finish them before the next prompts drop, but I will try my best because they will drop 1 p.m my time because this also starts 1am my time but I'm also going to sleep and yeah watch MSI <laughs> so yeah but I think I will be fine and I'm just very excited now it says that five minutes to sprint starts so yeah I mean I assume they're going to talk a bit first but like five minutes till live starts I'm going to try to read a bit tonight but I will try to also update you before like going to sleep just like a quick one and I hope you were doing this vlog. I am very excited. I'm excited to see what I will read. Yay! Okay, so it is almost 3 a.m. I'm actually not sure. I can't see the time because I don't. I took off my glasses. I'm going to bed. I'm very tired. I read 110 pages. It's just going a bit more slower than I thought it would. Because words and stuff. And also I'm tired. So I don't think that is helping. But I am enjoying it. I'm going to talk more about it when I finish it. I'm going to bed because I'm really sleepy. And I'm not even waking up that early. But I think it will be fun. And uh, yeah. You will see me then, so yay! At least I read over 100 pages, and basically, you know, since it's really short, I think I'm fine. Happy! See you later! Okay, so it is the next day and stuff. I just haven't vlogged because I was trying to chant for the footage for the video I'm gonna edit today and then I was like oh shit it's in the computer when I was gonna vlog. I haven't really done much. I woke up and then I did continue reading and then I did watch some of Sai and ate breakfast and stuff. It is now 2 11 p.m in my time and I did finish just now like 10 minutes ago my first book theory. It's been 13 hours and I just finished my first book, which is a bit of a crisis, but it's fine. And I did enjoy it. It basically follows these four women in Korea, in theory five, because one of them doesn't have a point of view. They all live in the same building and they all have different stuff and things in their life and their careers that is going on. One of them is, for example, a mute and she is really obsessed with this K-pop band thing. Another one is pregnant and she doesn't have a child. 
and another one is a struggling artists that sorts a lot of things in the past as well and then another one is like a room saloon girl get paid to entertain wealthy businessmen after hours and it's basically just their lives and like in this period some with flashbacks etc it doesn't really conclude anything and it's not really about anything specific but it's just about these four women's life and how stuff are happening with them but it's interesting i wouldn't say i loved it and it's definitely also i forgot to mention of course the biggest part of the book a lot of focus on beauty because there's like they take operation stuff to look in a certain way and that is also interesting too but it's still like an aspect of the story you could discuss as well but yeah i did end up liking it i think i gave like 3.5 out of 5 stars but i think it's closer to 3 than 4 because while i did enjoy it didn't love it it was a bit like not a lot was happening so i was just like okay but yeah i did in theory only read for two and a half hours like my time for reading this book so it's slower than usual but like i haven't actually read for 13 hours and only finished my book but if you do that then that's fine of course i just like meant i haven't actually read a lot because i did sleep and done other stuff but yeah i'm gonna start our show now also the next two roller ups dropped so it's to read a ebook or an audiobook which is kind of actually horrible for me because i have such a big physical tbr and I don't have that many books on ebook right now and I don't want to listen to an audiobook because that would take me ages. But I think I found an option for it which is not a long. But I will show you that after I finish our shop because I want to like do it in order. And then for a book with a color in the title, I'm not sure yet. I need to go into my room and look at all my TBR books for Asian Readathon and then see if any of them has a color in the title and hopefully it's not too long. But yeah, now I'm gonna just prep my vlog a bit because my favorite team is playing right now so I'm just gonna watch that while prepping my vlog and then read our short and then actually add my vlog. I think that's how I'm gonna do that and yay I was gonna vlog me doing stuff but I don't know how fun that is so we might just roll with this type of vlog it's fine. Okay but it's going well I finished my first book it's, it's all fine and our will be a quick read it's all good. <laughs> Okay, so I ate pizza as you saw, which was really yummy, and I finished my second book. So it's actually already, what time is it? 5.41 my time? <laughs> it's all fine. So I finished Arusha, and I finished the whole series, and it was really good and cozy. I'm like so sad to say goodbye to the characters, I love them so much. I hope Washini just writes like short stories in the world, or maybe a sequel series with maybe even more characters, maybe focusing on like the twins or something, like Rick Ryan did for Percy Jackson, because I want more in this world, I want to see Arusha and her Spider-Man pajamas more, like please. But yeah, it was a great time, it was really cozy. So now, for the next prompts, it is, you know, an audiobook, an ebook. I do not feel like doing an audiobook. So I looked at the books I have on my Kindle, and you know, I want them to be Asian, because it's still Asian Readathon. And I have this one, I am actually just using my iPad, because I don't think my Kindle has, um, what's it called? Power. I'm reading Patron Saints of Nothing by Randy Rebe, and this one is a Filipino author, and I think it also, parts of the book is set in... The Philippines. I don't know like the, the plot of it but I heard amazing things about it for a long time and like I have been wanting to buy a physical copy I just haven't gotten around to it yet but now I'll just read it because it's on my Kindle. It's one of the few books I haven't read on my Kindle that are Asian and it's a contemporary so hopefully it'll be fast. It's under 400 pages. It seemed like a good choice so I'm gonna read that on my iPad because of course I want to you know do the prompts and hopefully it will be fine <laughs> but yeah and then I need to go and buy a physical copy because cannot live without that, you know. And now I need to go upstairs and say hello to my parents that are back from Spain. And I just ignored them when I came home earlier because I really want to finish my book. I'm gonna edit my video and then start this book. It's it's all good. It's all good. Yay, you look really funny. <laughs> it's the hat that's glowing. A few hours later, 
I have finished editing my vlog now. I edited a lot of it and then I took a break because I got tired of it. And then I read my book on my iPad, Patreon Saints of Nothing. And it was really, really good. I really liked it. I follow our main character that I have literally now forgotten the name of. And I literally finished the book like just now. So that is a thing. His cousin that lives in the Philippines dies and he goes over there to like find out how he really died because he doesn't believe that he could die of like being addicted to drugs and then he learns a lot about the country and like how he's really over there and he meets a lot of his family and learns about like the country a lot and it's really interesting and sweet and uh, really sad but also like kind of I would say it's really weird to say but maybe like educational also for people to read about the country as well not just like all the assumptions that people have about the Philippines. The main character does also become called out like of his assumptions as well. Um, like how it feels to be like he's American, but they also feel like he's Filipino. It's a whole thing. But I did end up quite enjoying it. It was a sad book, but I enjoyed it. And now I have decided to book for the color prompt, which should be Six Words in the Crates by Elizabeth Lim. I had four options for this. Oh God. I dropped the book and I asked Erica of which one I should pick. She wanted me to pick this one, even though it is a couple of pages. Thank you, Gigi. I want to finish that before I go to bed and then I start the next two prompts when I wake up. I think I'm good, but I'm gonna try to upload this vlog. It's just converting now. Not this vlog that you're watching, the other vlog. And uh, yay, it's going great. It's going great. It's all good. So it's now 1 a.m. my time, which means that it's been 24 hours of Bokopathon. We are halfway in, so I just thought I would wrap up the first 24 hours just telling you how many pages I read, because now I feel like it's a new, new day. Even though like, it was technically a new day for me an hour ago, but you know, following the Bokopathon time zone. So I did start Six Crimson Cranes, loving it so much. It basically follows this princess. What is her name? because I'm horrible at names, Shiori, and she has brothers, and then they have a stepmother that curses them, the brothers turn into cranes in the day, and she's also cursed, she cannot speak, and she just walks around, and they're trying to like fix this curse, and it's really fun, I think it takes twists and turns that I don't expect, having a great time, so I read 162 pages of that, because I also played one while I went game, which I probably shouldn't have because then I think I would have soon been done. But like it still is only 1 a.m. I think it's fine. New drops is happening in oh seven minutes. But that's all good. But yeah, I just want to tell you how much like pages I read today. Ooh, 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 I'm curious. Okay, so I ended up on 1154 pages for the first day of Book of Fun. So you know I read three and a half books because I'm basically like two and a half way and six from some cranes. Definitely will finish the cat just attacked me. I'll definitely finish this tonight before I went to bed because it goes so fast. So I think it will be up to like 2am or something. Then I will think we start on the next drops tomorrow. Since I sleep, I always have less time on like the drops that drops in the night because then when I wake up, it's only a few hours to do new drops. But yeah, I'm not going to edit anything or stuff tomorrow though. So I don't really have any plans except reading. It's going to be nice. But my video that I have uploaded and like I have it's ready to go it just doesn't want to process done on youtube so i'm just sitting here waiting hoping to post it today but it does not want to do that so that's very annoying so hopefully we get ready for tonight because i did really want to get it up today but now it's technically the next day but yeah that's the first day and i will update you later when i pick the next box slash finish this my plan was to be at bed 2 a.m because i don't like to stay up too late and i knew i could read tomorrow and i was sure i would finish this before that. With that Valerie gift wasn't the best idea, but I still would have been up late anyway. It's almost 4 a.m. I'm going to bed now. In theory, it only took me two and a half hours to read. But yeah, I'm gonna sleep. I am probably gonna wake up way too early, even though I should sleep more, but I can't because I need to wake up early to watch some MSI and also read more. I'm so tired. I'm just like, yeah, I'm seeing double. It's all fine. It's all good. 
everything will be okay. But yeah, I finished my fourth book. I don't know what I'm saying anymore, but it's all good. Really, really, really liked it. It was such a good time. Very excited for the sequel that's coming out later this year. The next two rolls dropped earlier, but obviously I want to finish this. Let's read a spooky book and a YA book. I think I already know which spooky book I'm going to read. I'm a bit unsure about the YA one because I have a lot of options. Obviously, all still Asian. I just don't know which one I'm gonna pick yet because I might just try to take a really easy one so that I can breathe. But we shall see. I forgot to say like how many hours I like totally read yesterday. So in total of all the first 24 hours of Bokopathon, I read seven hours and 22 minutes of them. And then obviously now after 1 a.m. for me. I only read for one hour and 31 minutes because obviously it's only I haven't been that long. But yeah, I'm going to bed. You will see me tomorrow. It is the next morning. Um, I have showered, watched some MSI, and I started a spooky book because I just wanted to start it and I didn't vlog until now. I chose for the spooky books All These Bodies by Kendra Blake. So this like follows some murders happening somewhere in the states because i don't know where we are <laughs> i probably said in the beginning minnesota and it's like a bunch of murders he has crossed state lights oh i'm saying he we don't know who it is the unsub is has crossed state lines and murdering a bunch of people seemingly at random and there's no blood on the scenes even though like they should have blood a lot and then it comes to our main character michael's hometown and there's this girl that I just found on the scene and we don't know what's going on but yeah I am assuming we find out in the book fits for the spooky you know it's a horror mystery thingy thingy not that I'm scared but like the vibes is there for why I don't know yet I want something short and easy but I will pick that out when I read this because there's new roll drops and the last ones in one hour and 22 minutes so I see what those are as well. But yeah, three more books after this. And it's also a short one. That's obviously also why I picked it. I also think the only like spooky Asian book I had on my TBR. Unless you count a manga or like a book that was 700 pages and I did not want to read that. So yeah. Okay, now I'm just gonna keep reading a bit and then to eat and then going to Everclass and stuff later. So, yay. <laughs> Hey, hello, I have finished all these bodies. It's already 3 p.m. my time, so it is about 10 hours left of the readathon and I need to finish three more books. Ah, I wish I had like a book that was like 100 pages long. I really need something short, like something really properly short. I did use under two hours on this, like one hour and 50 minutes, but it still feels like I am using a long time, I don't know why. But yeah, it was a bit weird. It was like a murder mystery thing and yeah, like we don't really get any answers and it's like supernatural, but it's not because we don't really know if it was. It was weird, but like, okay, I gave it like three stars, I think. Didn't hate it, didn't love it, did want answers though, but didn't really get them. So now we are three books left. So I need to pick out a YA book. So I have loads of options for that. But the next two prompts has dropped, the last ones. First one was to do with an ocean on the cover. And the last one is the scroll feed one, which means that I need to go into, for example, any social media, could be Instagram or Goodreads, I guess the best options. And the first book that I have that is available, I need to read. But as you know, I'm doing Asian Readathon and I still do wanna read Asian for that. So I will take the first one that shows up that I have. But that is a bit scary because it could literally be like 
some of the ones I have are like 5 to 600 pages and if that's the first one that shows up I need to read that so then I might do one of the other ones as a manga so I know I will make it which is you know totally fine I just yeah I don't have really that many short ones right now we're gonna do the scroll thing first and then I will pick my two other ones but the scroll one will be I think the last one I will read if that makes sense because I'm doing oh I'm doing it in order of the prompts so I think I'm gonna go on Goodreads and then the first one I have that I own I haven't read that is Asian I will pick so let's see what I get. Okay, my internet is not working, so that was great. Okay, scrolling. Scrolling, very nervous. Oh my god, lots of books, none are Asian. Actually, none that are not Asian that I couldn't read anyway. I don't really actually have too many good friends. So this was a bad thing. Actually, uh, just saying, Rune of King showed up now and now I think it was the first one I could actually read. Really glad I'm not reading that because I'm just gonna scroll forever. If I'm scrolling forever, I will switch over to Instagram. Please just give me anything. Just a billion hundred cost, please. Just give me anything. Anything. Oh my god, I got Spy Family, but I already read all the ones I have. So there's that. Oh my god, what if I actually get a manga? I mean, that actually would work. Lots of books. No, not Asian. I have gotten several I could have read. <gasps> oh no. I actually got Iron Widow. But I'm reading Iron Widow for like other stuff. Is that cheating if I don't take Iron Widow then? Like should I take it? Because I need to read it for Facing Gaze this month anyway. But it's a bit early for that in the month. And I'm also planning to read it for like another vlog. It was the first one I showed up. It's not like I was planning to read it anyway. Uh, why is why is the text inside upside down? Wait, what? <laughs> what? Wait, what? I'm sorry. <laughs> the text inside is printed upside down. I haven't opened it until now because I haven't read it yet. This is my Lumigrade edition. <laughs> And it's, it's, it's printed upside down. I am dying. Oh my god. Oh. That is amazing. I mean, it's terrible, but oh my god, I need to contact Illumicrate. The things you discover, I mean, I haven't like, I haven't looked inside of it. Because I haven't, you know, I'm, I haven't, I, I, I don't look inside all the books I get, you know. It's literally upside down. It's literally, because this is, it's having an epiphany right now. This is, wow. <laughs> the things you discover. <laughs> and now I'm very unsure if I should read it. I need to read it for the thing, the reading, the, my club. But I just like, I, I don't know if I feel like it because it's literally upside down. I'm going to scroll a bit more. Can I just get anything? Oh my God, a book. Called a magic sleep and poison. I really want to read that, but I haven't received my copy. If my mailbox, <gasps> I was gonna say, if my mailbox worked, I would read that. Actually, I got a clash of steel right now here on my feed. As you can see, this is really horrible, you can't really see it. Which also has you know, an ocean on the cover, or an ocean, a sea, water. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. Oh my god, it's so beautiful! It's also 400 pages long. I guess I got to do that. I got to do that or Iron Widow. I needed two options. Iron Widow is printed upside down. Iron Widow is shorter than that. But I don't want to read Iron Widow now. Okay. 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 Okay, I went into Instagram and literally the first one I got was This Woman Kingdom. This you know is also Asian. But this one is... 500 pages. Okay, I'm going with A Clash of Steel. So we are reading that. We are not reading Iron Widow yet. I don't know if that counts as cheating, but I just could not deal with reading Iron Widow right now because I need to like use brain cells when I'm gonna read it since I for like my book club and stuff and it's a bit too early for me to read that. So I'm fine with reading Clash of Steel. It still counts. It's a bit thick one. Now I need a really short one for the YA one and then for the ocean one. So I think the ocean one, I don't know what it's called, the water one. So I think for the water, water one, I'm gonna read Summer Bird Blue. It's literally like a wave. So I think that fits really well. This one is 360 something pages. So yeah. And then for the YA one, do I wanna read like a simple 
contemporary thing. Oh yeah, I'm taking this one, I think. So I'm gonna read XOXO by Axio, because this is like a cute, I think, K-pop book thing. And it's like 300 something pages. And I was just like, need something short. So this is my Y1. This is my Y1. This is the scroll one. Yay! <laughs> can I do it? <laughs> okay, so these are both white contemporaries. I'm pretty sure I can get to them in under four hours, maybe. Under around four hours for them. And then I need maybe like three hours on this one, which would be uh, seven hours. And there's ten hours left. I think I can do it if I like concentrate. So I need to go and read. I need to go and read. I thought I could maybe read this, but this, this is not, this is not water. It is a dragon, but it do looks kind of like a water dragon okay i'm gonna do that <laughs> i'm gonna go and read now and then i'm gonna i'm gonna mail in bloom crate because that's hilarious <laughs> okay so it has been two hours actually like i'm gonna talk two hours and nine minutes and i finished xoxo i almost wish i read it faster but life and it was so cute it's about jenny who meets this k-pop idol and she doesn't know who is at first and then she goes over to Korea to be with her grandmother, etc. And then she meets him again and it's a love story and it's really silly, but it's very cute. And as you know, I was gonna say K-pop fans dream about to meet their idol and like actually end up for them, you know, it's it's like kind of that book. It's like a homage to that. Like we all dream about that, like yeah, I'm not gonna deny it. <laughs> But yeah, it's funny to read in the book. It was very, very cute. The writing sometimes was a bit weird for me. Like, I didn't love it. But it was still cute. I gave four or five stars because it made me giggle. So that's all I needed. Okay, two more books. Uh, it's 5.30. So it is six... Seven hours left? Seven and a half hours left. Sorry, that was math. The next one is also contemporary. I think that's a bit more sad. This was just like cute and fluffy. Gonna start summer with blue. And yeah, I just need to pee and find like some snacks because I'm starving. It's me in a terrible light. So I finished summer with blue, which I didn't know was gonna be super sad, but it basically follows a main character who loses her sister in a car accident and she needs to deal with this loss. And then her mom sends her to Hawaii to her aunt and she lives there and well, it's very angry, very angry main character of everything that happened. It's very, very sad. Like it's about loss and sorrow. Do love that, not. And now it's time for the last book, which I started a bit earlier, but then I had to go in the dinner. So you can see I read a tiny bit in it. It's like 32 pages in. This is a Treasure Island remix. I don't know what Treasure Island is. Erica tells me <laughs> that it is a Disney movie, but I don't feel like I watched it. I don't know what she's talking about. But I'm reading it and I started a bit and yeah, I'm actually a bit tired because I've been reading literally all day. We will see the tally of like how many hours I actually read today. And I feel like I'm done, but I of course don't want to fail now. It is, is 399 pages and I read 33, so I have like 170 or something to go. I feel like I will do it. It's exactly four hours left, like it's 9 p.m. in my time right now. But yeah, I'm ready to be done. Erica is playing Elden Ring. Is it fun, Erica? Are you winning? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these dead kitties in the cat tree. They look dead. <laughs> Eva's foot is just... Look at her foot. Look at her foot there. I love it. Okay. See you on the other side. I did it. I'm done. I finished the eighth book. The book was okay. It was okay. It had an effort romance and didn't know. Also, the last book I read, Summer Bird Blue, had a, uh, a sexual main character. So that was cool. Either way, it was enjoyable. I really liked the retelling setting. I liked there was a lot of nice female characters. I liked the romance. It was cute and the fun family aspect. And like, it was a few plot twists and stuff. And like, I liked, you know, the Asian setting, etc. But some parts of it was also less like me. The book drew a lot of time to start, like you use a hundred pages and nothing had really happened. And then, yeah, but I did it. I'm tired. I'm gonna like have, you know, hold all the books I read when I'm in my room again, but I'm still at Erica, so I would do that either later tonight or tomorrow morning. But I did it and there is one hour and 33 minutes to spare. So it's all good. It's all good. Yay. Are you proud of America? Wow. She's really proud. She's, she's super proud. 
I'm going to check how much I read today. So in time yesterday, as I said, it was 7 hours and 22 minutes. Today has been 9 hours and 20 minutes. <laughs> Holy shit. Erica died. And then pages yesterday was, as I said, 1,154. And today it is 1,675. Holy shit, that's a lot. That's a lot of pages. Wait, I need to do... Uh, I need to math. I don't, I can't do hard math right now. Altogether, <laughs> 2,829 pages in 48 hours. What, what can you say to that, huh? Tell me I'm cool. Wow, that's a lot of pages. Well, now I'm gonna just chill and then I will vlog one last clip either later tonight, unless I'm really tired, or tomorrow morning. Hello, hello. It is the next day because I didn't watch from last night because I was like, no. So I'm gonna end this vlog. Really, you already gotten all the stats. So I said all that yesterday. I don't bother repeating myself. But yeah, I did really well. I uh, felt the last day was really tired because I only slept for like six hours. You know, I know people slept less than that. And yeah, but I got closer. I was so far away. Hello. I had a really great time. I think my pile was really great. So yeah, here is my little pile of books, except for the fact that, of course, I also read the ebook Patron Says of Nothing. I actually bought a physical copy of that, but obviously it's not here yet. I think my least favorite, sorry, was probably All These Bodies by Kenner Blake, that one because that was weird. I don't know what that book was. It was it was weird for me. <laughs> but my favorite was probably Six Crimson Cranes because I had such a fun time with that and I really, really liked the story. I'm very excited for the sequel. I just really, really like all the vibes. So that was definitely a book for me, but all the other ones were really cute. I really like, for example, XO and Summer Blue, Blue. And this wasn't my favorite, but I did like, like parts of it. All in all, I think all books were decent and I had a great time. So yeah, thank you so much to Rebecca for hosting, making this really fun readathon. My favorite part is not knowing where the prompts are. I think that's the most fun part. I'd be like, shit, when are you going? Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed. I kind of don't even remember what I vlogged anymore, but I'm gonna go and look through some now and uh, it will be a fun time. But yeah, you will see me soon in a new video. Leave dice emojis down below if you enjoyed this and you will see me soon. Bye.